So I just got home and as you can see, Jaden is not with me. I don't know if I should take like a five minute break so I can actually get through this. <laughs> we haven't posted on this channel in a little while because it's been a pretty tough couple months. So we came to Cape Town in December of 2020 and we were meant to fly back together on the 28th of December. and then. Uh, well, my flight got cancelled because they weren't allowing foreigners in anymore. Even though Israel had told us that if I come home and get my documents, I'll be able to get back in and... Safe to say that did not happen. So, we stayed positive and Jaden stayed here in South Africa with me for January. And he was meant to fly on the 1st of Feb. 1st of Feb came and 1st of Feb went and his flight was cancelled. Then we booked another flight, that flight was cancelled, booked another flight, that flight was cancelled. And then I think it got towards the end of February and he was meant to fly and that flight got cancelled. Now I'm going to be totally honest, with this kind of stress, um, it puts a lot of pressure on a relationship because when you come from different countries and you're meant to try and be in a relationship, at some point you have to actually work and make some kind of money and it's becoming stressful, you know, because whether we're relying on his parents or we're relying on my parents or we're digging into our savings and so it starts becoming a little bit messy and not because it's anything to do with us but because it's from these outside um, factors. In the beginning of March his visa in South Africa was going to expire because as an Israeli he only gets three months to be in South Africa. So he flew to Joburg where his aunt and uncle are so that they could try and help him get a visa. Anyway so he can't get a visa which meant that he couldn't come back to Cape Town. So I went up to Joburg to go and visit him there and we were both meant to fly home as in me to Cape Town and him to Israel um, on the 8th of March today. On Saturday he went and got his Covid test and then on the Sunday his flight was cancelled. So anyway, today I flew home and I said bye to Jaden and he's still sitting in Joburg and I don't know when I'm gonna see him again. I don't know, it's also complicated right now and I don't really know what to do so I suppose that's why we just haven't been able to make videos really because I don't know when this is all gonna end and maybe for some people we seem dramatic but you know it's tough because you want to be together but you can't be so I really just wish that the world would go back to normal I mean I don't understand how long more of us can go on for because I know that we're not the only ones that are feeling like this I know a lot of you guys have been so supportive and you guys have been messaging us and asking us what's going on. A lot of you guys even thought that we broke up. <laughs> so I'm not surprised because we kind of disappeared off the face of the planet. So yeah. <sighs> I mean, what next? I don't know. What up guys? So as you see, Cassandra's not next to me. Basically, what that means is that this whole long distance is officially started. This is the only way I can get Cassandra in Israel. I need to go to Israel, I physically need to be in Israel, and I need to get her a visa to come and be with me in Israel. So you guys can see her beautiful face running around in Israel on the beach. That's what I hope is gonna happen in the next couple months because I just cannot take this anymore. This long distance, this, we've done it before when she was stuck on the ship. It just drives me crazy. I cannot even think about the fact that I can't go where she is and she can't come to where I am. It's, it's crazy. I feel just so helpless. So, guys, wish us luck. Cassandra is really amazing. Just so you guys know, she's really, really amazing. 
So I'm getting on a flight today. It's been a long ride, but we're gonna continue this ride. Sad people do bad things, bad things. Sad people do bad things, bad things. Count me as one bad things, bad things. I get caught up on the sad things, sad things. Yes, Lita Carti Shelly, Tiro Mose. Od mat oli malatisa, od mat le Germania. You guys would not believe what just happened. So I went to the immigration table thinking, okay, here I am. I'm about to leave South Africa and as I said I am over my visa so the lady looks at my passport she starts realizing that I'm more than three months in South Africa and then she says to me why are you here over your visa I said because of uh, the situation in the world right now I couldn't get any flights whatsoever I was locked out of my country she didn't really buy it so much she said there was flights and this and that and I said look that's a situation I have nothing else to say and then she says okay fine only because of, because of the situation right now we have to let you go I said thank you very much have a good day. חברים, אני כמעט חצי דרך הביתה. אז זהו, כשאני בפאניקה אני מתחיל לדבר אנגלית, אז תסלחו לי. אז אני עכשיו בפרנקפורט, ויש לי עכשיו 12 שעות להעביר פה עד שאני חוזר לארץ. בואו נראה מה יקרה. And I have about 12 hours to pass here, so let's see what's gonna happen, אה? Huh? הגעתי לארץ, ובואו נמשיך ונראה מה הולך להיות. מה זה? תראו מה זה. אתם מוכנים? יאללה, תודה רבה. טוב, זהו, סיימתי. קיבלתי את הצמיד הזה. להגיד שעשיתי בדיקה. You see, I got this wristband basically saying that I've finished my test and I'm going home now. That's it. Me too. See you guys next time.